Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Witcher 3. So, we are currently on a little mit mini quest with Lambert. He's looking for the person who led the uh, assassins that murdered one of his friends. So, we found one of uh, the members, but we're trying to find the leader. He did not know where they were and had no contact with them. So, we're going to continue on our little quest, go back to meet Lambert and give him an update. Before we do that, though... We do have an upgrade point to stick in somewhere here. We can actually make a new slot, but the only... Oh, we actually have a new slot in our uh, in our list here. So we can actually pick something new. What do we want to pick? I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, do we maybe want to do some alchemy stuff? I don't know. Like, Poison Blades is kind of cool. I just don't know if the power level of that is going to stick around on this list. When we eventually get to, like, a higher level, um, like level 30, are we going to want alchemy stuff on this list later down the line? Or are we just going to want, like, big power hits and things like that from lists like this? I'm not sure. Well, we've got plenty of mutagens. So that's the thing. So if we make this one the blue sign side, this is the red sign side, maybe we'll do... Well, I think only green's left at that point, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure I really care for most of these. We don't use potions and toxicity that often for it to matter. We use like one at a time. So maybe... Ooh, that's, that's maybe cool. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. The duration lasts longer. Time is slowered a further 15% while aiming bombs. Oil applied to blades gives a 3% chance of poisoning. This one's quite good. I like this one. Chance is great at the higher level of oil used. And all of these are increasing the duration of our potions as well. Increases potion overdose threshold from 75 to 80. Hmm. Let's do, let's do Poison Blades. Let's get a, a green side going, and then, like, this one on the right will be, like, a mix of all sorts, I guess. With maybe some of our brown ones hidden in there somewhere along the line. Right, let me check the map and find out how far we've got to go. Oh, my God. Uh, Roach? Oh, Roach, how did you get up here? What a surprise. All right, let's go. We want to move quickly through this place because I know that there are cyclopses and all sorts of other horrors around here with big skulls above their heads. We're not actually supposed to be here right now, but this quest seems to have taken us here. So I'm inclined to just do whatever this quest says and then leave and go back to uh, doing maybe the Novigrad stuff with um, Triss. We haven't actually met her yet, so that's another thing. Might want to do that. Okay. Let's get to that fast travel point. Boop. And we want to go back to here, don't we? Back to Novigrad. And we want to head to the Nowhere Inn. I thought the Nowhere Inn was like this area here. I'm going to go to Aria. As the Emperor's spies told him, Ciri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Not right now, but that's interesting. Before I uh, started the, um, the recording, actually, I got one of these loading screens as I started the game up, and it gave me one for a storyline that I hadn't actually done yet, which was interesting. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so I'm not going to mention what it was, but yeah, it, it, it spoiled a bit of the storyline for me, which is probably uh, unintended. I guess it just didn't intend me to go to the Skelliger Isles, perhaps. Who knows? Maybe it was a bug. Anyway, we're going to be helping Lambert out, though, because that is how we roll when it loads eventually. And I think we've got some side missions that we want to be doing as well before we talk to Triss. 
but we'll check that soon. Right, we want to head up this way, I think. Yeah, we want to go across the bridge up here. Let's go this way. Yep. Excuse my witcher senses, you never know if there's something under the water. There isn't this time. There's a certain beauty about this place. <coughs> cough, cough to you, lady. Awful uh, pile. Oh, you scared. Not even slightly. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm so not scared, I'll walk through strangers' houses. Such lovely natural surroundings. The nowhere. Hmm. Fuck. Uh, maybe later. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Strangers, no strangers. Is he playing dice on his own? Oh, Lambert. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keridan lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something, too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. Hmm. All right, let's pay Keridan a visit. Alrighty then. Is it murder in time? I think Lambert's probably going to get ahead of us on that one, but we'll see. We will see. Oh, he's got guards. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Huh? Well... That made it easy. <laughs> Let's head on in then, I guess. Is that carried in? Evil man. No. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Hey, I've got a skill in that. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. With blood. Maybe. We'll see. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. <laughs> nice house. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. 
fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. Hmm. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. Huh. So it was an accident, but not necessarily an accident. I've heard enough. What now? Hmm. They are emotionless, aren't they? Hmm. I suppose you could still regret and not care. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll know what, Keridan? Your remorse? It's feigned. Completely dishonest. You put on a good show, but I just don't believe you. Don't even know why we bothered with this chat. We came here to kill you. Ah, uh, he apparently sells slaves, or he's involved in it. So I mean, yeah, come on. Let's, Do what you let's... want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. There you You've go. been waiting a long time for this, and I don't aim to die. I ain't even got my sword out. I ain't even got my sword out. Jesus Christ! All right, Geralt, sword. Wow. That was well odd. Oh, yeah, the diamond ring. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Want to talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Let, let me loot the father. Where is he gone? There he is. I suppose we've already got it. Alright, well, uh, that's that then, I guess. We've just uh, murdered a family man. Okay. I don't know what Geralt is anymore. He just... He's just one of those people. Alright. This was something to do with Skellige, so I'm going to leave this one alone. That's definitely Skellige. That's the Fight Club. Not interested right now. Talk to the Quartermaster about the Noblewoman's son. Oh yeah, there was a lady in the camp who asked me to sort it out and nobody would be helping her. I think that was the case. We could go do that one. What else have we got? Deadly Delights. Geralt spied something on the city notice board about that intrigued him. It seemed keeping the peace in Novigrad was not all the city guard's only problem. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Actually, it's level 15. You know what? Let's go meet Triss. Let's go do... Let's go do some main quests, because she's in town. We're right here. <laughs> Please don't die, fall down. Oh, thank god. Alright. It's about time we met our lover. Again. For the first time in this game. He's a magic man. Let's leave. Okay. Well, a witch. Stop scaring us, decent folk. You should go up the street. There's Satan in a child up there. I think I'm scaring you. Kingfisher, you're so different. These two days. Just Damien. Oh yeah, Mitris in her house. Hello, thugs. Hey, sod off. We're looting here. 
Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Me! Leave it to me! Oh, you do not know who you mess with. Maybe you do. I'm Geralt of Rivia. And I am incapable of hitting anything. There you go. Ow! Come on. Stop blocking, Rocky. Rocky doesn't block. Ow, I parried that man. Stop punching me. Uh oh. Screw you, I'm gonna cheat. There we go. <laughs> no, no, don't. No, no more, please. Where's the sorceress who lived here? Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gorge cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Alright, so she's prone to being burned at the stake if anyone finds her good to know. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. <laughs> no, I bet you didn't. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. I'm going to punch Thing you again. Is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Hmm. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorceress bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, mages of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. Get wrecked. Oh, oh my god. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. You, you don't, like, hate magic men, do you? So I just saw one flow on screen. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Mm. <laughs> Got nothing on me. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine. And the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Alright. I think he likes me. You just don't want to admit it. Alright, let's um, zoom in. Gonna rummage through Triss's stuff to find out where she is, maybe. Still take a maroon stone. She won't need it. 
It might help me find her. Conjunction of the spears. Ooh. Nice. Enhanced grape shot. Yeah, some, some blowing off. That's nice. Can we go in? Oh, we can go in. Sorry, Tris, but you're not coming back here, are you? Also, if you want to read the books. There they are. Eh. Come on. There you go. Enjoy. Right. What else you got, Herbs, Tris? Roots. Tris turned to healing. No, it's lunch. Okay. Evening with a vampire. It's grayed out, so I'm assuming we've already read it. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. It's a big brush. Okay. Big brush for a big head. Maybe. Saltpeter. Nice. A beast area. Oh, hello. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Hmm. A mage allergic to potions. That's an odd one. Ooh, which are signs? I think we all know them. We've got another floor to go. Yoink. Wood. <laughs> Dumpling in the cupboard. There's some really oddly positioned things in this house. There's dumplings all over a bathroom. Well, it's essentially a bathroom anyway. Trisses. Never knew her to drop them on the floor. Mm. Ooh, rows of remembrance. Rows of remembrance. All dried up. Interesting. And which is sign. Now that did have um, an exclamation point on it, did it not? Which means it's maybe a quest item? Yeah. Alright, well I guess we'll need that sometime later down the line. Keep an ear out for uh, anybody who needs some sort of flowery goodness. Alright, let's go look for a thief. So that we can talk to the King of Beggars. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Well, that was very subtle. Alright, so we need to look for thieves. Is that what we're doing? Rain Come makes closer. the city Don't even be shy. more <laughs> What happens if I'm the thief? Can I follow myself? You call this rain? Any needs, not seen true precipitation. What is... Eat at the Kingfisher. You're sorted for at least two days. Mega. Just a veteran of the struggle against the Black once. Where do you fight? Angering early on. In Sidaris last, along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out? Yeah. Here. Now you help me. Gotta find the back alley locals call the Putrid Grove. It's important. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. This is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. Damn it. It just rains and rains. Looks like we're gonna have to invest in another beggar. Look kindly on a wretched soul. Aid one who laughs or nourishment three days past. All right. Give you a crown. Crown's enough, my lord. When your gut's so empty, it's stuck flat to your spine. Could give you more, on one condition. You tell me where you drop your takings for the day. I'd drop them with my lady. Serious trouble if I didn't. Go on lying like that and you won't get a thing. I swear it. Honest as a child I am, my lord. I know you pay tribute to the King of Beggars. Don't have a choice. As far as I'm concerned, the King of Beggars can stick his crown up his arse, then shove it even deeper with his scepter. Bugger won't get a broken copper from me. 
You're either pretty damn brave, or just plain stupid. Hmm. What's he gonna do? Break me legs? Let him. Me takings double as a cripple. From what I hear, they'd break your legs just to start. Some coin for me future widow, then. Fifty? No. You didn't tell me anything. I don't know nothing. On your way. I've no use for you. Likewise. About See you later. Scaring decent I've gotta I've gotta use my cash wisely, you know. Helping beggars is good and all, but you know, this one, you know, it kind of was encouraging me to break oh. his legs, and I don't think I can encourage that kind of behaviour or attitude, so oh. <laughs> You've gotta be important because you're so out of the way right now. How do we get up to you? Can I just like talk to you from here? Oh, maybe I can. Hello. Arms for the poor. You lame? No, Charles. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. No. In my mind, thorough addled. I like this man. <laughs> Been like this long? Addled? Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's addled. There. Showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. He's indicating. Oh, yeah. I gotta find the place they call the Putrid Grove. I know it but won't say. I know it but won't say. <laughs> Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you, though, if you didn't push, weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. Might tell you then. Guess your mind truly is addled. <laughs> didn't I say so? <laughs> I like this man. Let's talk to him again, then. Oh, it's a war. Oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough addled. But the rest of me spit as a fiddle. Is that right? <sighs> looking for the future grove. So, like I said, I'm looking for the putrid grove. Second time round, your wish is my command. It's that away. There. I love this man. That away. Meaning where? In lace halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course. Unless he forgets to say the old sow's farrow piglets. Might not let you in then, but that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrowed piglets. See? Thanks for your help. Can I can I give you money? Mm -hmm. You were Could very. Come mm -hmm. on. Spare a copper or two. I'm trying. Could use a nibble. Spare a copper or two. Damn it. Oh, all right. a war veteran. Spare me a crown. He's also addled. And all his legs and arms work. Look, see? He's indicating. Okay, let's uh. Let's let's go where he says. Oh, oh. Damn it. Let's go to the addled man's location. There's something about a sow a and um, them being liberated. What do you see? Pain, is the password. Let's let's do that. Officer, so Hello. Open up. Who are you and what you want? <laughs> Can't tell. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. It was, uh, it was, yeah, the piglets. Old sows, pharaohed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. Thank you, other brother. Okay. We found ourselves the odd location in the world. So, we're going to go meet with the King of Beggars, but for now, I believe we are going to end it off here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, then be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscription button, and that will give you notifications when I release new videos. I do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.